goddamn Prime Land, man. Check this out, man. Y'all already know the one thing that Coach Prime pushes more than anything that I love that he pushes is education, man. We're going to look at this part of the video, and this is probably my favorite part of the thing. And we're just going to have some fun with it, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video, comment your thoughts down below, man. Listen, y'all make my day. Uh, also, uh, y'all asked about the shirt. The shirt is already up in the store and stuff like that, man. Like I said, a lot of these joints, these, these are my original designs, man. Check it out. Bow. I did. The, uh, we got the Gamecock. I'm working on that one. We got the George Bulldog design. And then last but not least, I just threw the Colorado at the bottom of the Buffalo with the skull buffs and all that stuff, man. I think it's dope, man. I think it's. Uh, I think these joints is coming out. Coming, uh, coming together pretty well, man. But you know how that goes, man. So if y'all interested in that, man, those will be up in the store. Link down in the description. The sun link will be somewhere, man. I put it in the description or whatever, man. But listen, if nobody else told y'all this today, y'all are my family, my brothers and my sisters. I love each and every last one of y'all. And yes, I do this t-shirt and art stuff, and I ain't got no trade for this. I just, I'm self-taught. Hey, listen, YouTube University is one of the leading universities on the planet. Probably should be the number one accredited uh, university on the planet too, man. But listen, before we do that, man, let's just get right into what Prime's talking about. I want y'all to hear this, and we'll go from there. And uh, as my guy said, you know, when I hear him make a good point, I'm gonna stop it or whatever, and just do it like that. But let's get to it. Okay, academics. Some of y'all think it's a game. 95% of this locker room is not going pro. I hate to say it, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. I don't sugarcoat nothing. You gotta get your academics. You, you hear what he say? 95% of you all that are in this locker room today are not going to the NFL. That means that 5% are going. 5% will have a stint, maybe have a cup of coffee, something like that in the NFL, and also, and might, you know, less than 1% is gonna go to have a 10-year career, possibly be a Hall of Fame, and not many people are ever gonna do that. But only 5% of y'all, so that means that I, like I said, like y'all y'all gonna hear what he's saying, man. Only 5% of y'all, so that makes my job even harder for those 5%, and here's why. You got to get a degree, you got to get masters, you got to, whatever you're trying to attain, you got to go get it. And it's not a game to me. So if you sit up here with three F's or four F's, how in the world are we going to trust you? Coach Mathis, in your history of coaching, do you trust a guy with three or four F's? Anybody else? Coach? Any, any coach? You trust a guy? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Hey, like he said, man, how you gonna trust somebody that's not doing what they're supposed to do over here, but they can come tell you that I'm gonna do what I wanna do over there. I understand that what you do most, you do best, and what you got an interest in, you're gonna do the most work it. But listen, a lot of life is doing something that you don't want to do at all so that you can do something that you that you really want to do. Or as Denzel put it in, what is it, in the great debate is you got to do what you, you got to do what we have to do so we can do what we want to do. And if you got three and four Fs, that means I can't trust you to, like my grandma would say, I can't trust you to pull, to pull something, pull water out of boot. Y'all know what she said with the instructions on the bottom. If you got four Fs, I can't trust you to pull water out of a boot with the instructions on the heel. That's what my grandma would say. Hey, she also said, if you see me in the wood with a bear fighting a bear, don't help me help the bear. It is what it is. She talked to her $1,000 worth of trash. But what I'm saying is, if you're not doing what you're supposed to do when nobody's watching, it goes back to the integrity, but you know that we're ultimately going to see it, then how can we trust you with this right here? It's like how, which, how you do anything is how you do everything. I don't always believe in that, but a lot of times, if this is what he believes in, look, how you do anything is how you do everything. Ultimately, it, it's more often than not, it becomes the truth. So if you're slacking over here, then you're gonna see what you can get away with over there. And, and we just don't got time for that, but let's keep pushing. We're not gonna trust you. And you're not gonna be able to practice. So what we're gonna do, if you got three or four Fs, what we're gonna do is send you to academics, let you focus on that, and you lose your reps on this, so somebody have an opportunity to take your job and take your number. We got that. Sir. Academics are real. Your education is real. You got to get something when you leave here. It's a fact. You're going to get NFL or, or a degree. I One thing that I love that he said was if you're not getting your academics, we're not putting you off the team. We're not getting rid of you. We're not just going to be like goodbye, nah, 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 nah. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure you see, it's not even an option. We're going to send you over there to the tutors to the academic and you're going to get you're going to get those grades up 
And in the meantime, you're gonna be losing out on your reps and you're gonna be losing out on everything else. Losing out on reps, game time, film time. You're not even gonna be a, a, associated with the team. Really. You will be on the team, but you're gonna get them books first but because no matter what, you're gonna get those books. Hey, I can, I can dig it, I can appreciate it. And I'm glad that he's not saying you're not just gonna be off the team, whatever, whatever. You're gonna get those grades up because we got to get you a degree. I love that right there, man. A lot of, lot of teams are gonna be like, you're not making a grade, you're just out of here. That's it, you better transfer, you better do something else. He's like, no, nah, we're gonna help you and we're gonna do everything that we possibly can to keep you on this team. But don't be a detriment to yourself because if you're not out here practicing, you can't help the team, you can't help the team, then we can't help you. You know, it is what it is. So we're gonna help you get through it, but you know, it is what it is. Next up. I want you to get both. I truly do. I want you to get both. Cause you're gonna be somebody. You're gonna be something. And you're gonna make it happen for you. You got to get your books and stop underestimating the power of that. We understand that. Yes, sir. If you have more. Now, that's, and that's what we gonna knock it off, man. Like he says, you gotta get your books. You gotta stop underestimating the power of that. A lot of y'all not going to the league and that is fine. A lot of us went to school, got scholarships, played sports, and then graduated and then just went out there in the, in the main, in the real world. My part of the binary state of mind is in the comment section. He says all the time, I went to school. I realized I wasn't gonna go pro. I was like that, but I wasn't gonna go pro. And I don't even know if I had, if I had the desire to wanna do this type of thing every day. So I knew I wasn't going pro, locked down, got my degree, got out, got certifications and then kept on doing my thing. Now I'm very successful because this sport paid my way through school. Some, like I said, the, the institution, we are gonna use you, so use us. We are going to put you in a position to use us and do your thing, man. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I love that Coach Prime is pushing that and I really like the fact that he's saying you gotta get something. You might not go to the league, but you're gonna leave here with a degree. You're gonna leave here with an education. We're gonna hook you up with people. We're gonna put you on with some people. You're going to learn how to make these networking connections. And above all, if you're not doing so hot in school, we're gonna put you in position to do better and get exactly what it is you're going after, man. I love that about Coach Prime. And it's just like, like, hey, you might lose some reps on the thing. You have to work your way back up, but we're not going to give up on you. We're gonna keep pushing, keep investing in you, invest even more with the academic side, and then when you come back, if you're a dog and you can get it back, you can get it back. But you're going to lose out on the reps and it's going to make it tough, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think now in the comment section, man. Look, love each and every last one of y'all, man. I love these breakdowns. I love this part of it because education is important. It really is the key to the next level, whether it be an education in whatever way. You got to get it some kind of way. It don't have to be formal. It can be informal. It could be a lot of knowledge that people impart upon you. It could be things that you watch people do, observe them. You can go to YouTube University like I do with everything. Like that's how I learned how to do the art, all this stuff. YouTube University, do these t-shirts, everything. And now I do the stuff. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Temp. Gosh,